I guess uh, going against Portland the last two times, they, they kind of started this uh, downward trend for you guys. I feel like. No, I don't think Portland started it. You know, I think somebody else started it. You know, and that'll remain nameless at this point. But uh, you know, so I mean, obviously, it's been a difficult situation uh, because of that. Open Cup game with the injuries and uh, and you know people being gone, the Gold Cup and everything else. You know, it's sort of started a, a bad trend. But you know, it's it's time for that to go the other direction, and uh, this is the time. How great would it be for the club to kind of turn the page on all of this against their rival this weekend in front of over 60,000 people? We are going to turn the page. It's not going to be a uh, thing we're going to think about being a great day. It's going to be a great day. We're going to turn the page. We're going to get after them, and uh, you know we're going to play very well. Does the pure math of the standings sort of add to the rivalry or just render the rivalry a little bit more beside the point? Uh, this game's always going to have that intensity. It doesn't matter where you are in the standings and so forth. I mean, people are saying, oh, because of the standings and the situation, that's going to add more to it. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine that you can add more to it. You know, that's just like, okay, there's the playoffs. If you meet each other in the playoffs, which we've done, does that add more to it? If you meet each other in MLS Cup, which will never happen, uh, would that add more to it? You know, just because we're in the same conference. And, I mean, but uh, you know, it's 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 a game that has its own uh, uh, own energy and has its own level, and uh, it's hard to imagine you can add more to it. But you know, there's obviously a lot at stake. So to that end. Uh I don't know if you saw the Troy Perkins quote about they're ahead of us in the standings even though they don't deserve it, uh, which obviously got Portland's attention. Do, do you care? Or as you say, is it just always a rival? Well, right now they're ahead of the standings, you know, and, and they're ahead of us and they got more points than us. That's reality, you know, and uh, it doesn't matter what we think, you know, it's, it's a matter about what we do on the field. So it's a matter for us to step up and play our game on Sunday. How's Clint? Doing better. Chance to see him this weekend? I don't know. At this stage, I uh, don't know. Same thing. Doing better. How about Barry? Don't know. Doing better. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Clint and Ozzy were out here training today. I mean, have they made positive steps forward this week? They're doing better, but don't know yet. No. But I'm not sure. I was uh, Andreas Less though, right? Was he? Uh, he's doing better too, but uh, you know, this weekend's probably early for him. And what did you make of, of Papa's return? It was okay, you know, a difficult game to play, obviously, in Honduras. Uh, but, you know, for him to get back on the field was important. Had to play him in a little bit of a different role, you know, in that game. But uh, it was good to get him back on the field. How about the um, stadiums? You know, they've already sold over 63,000 or tickets here, the, the fans and the fan base here uh, for, for this, for the game against Portland. Well, I mean, our, our fans are fantastic, you know, and, and they've been behind us, you know, through thick and thin. And, uh, you know, we had uh, had some thick part at the beginning of the season. We've been a little bit thin lately, and uh, we want to get thick again here at the end of the season, uh, to use that analogy to its extreme. Uh, and, uh, you know, we need our fans to continue to stay behind us, but uh, we definitely don't want to disappoint those people on Sunday. They're doing the rivalry week thing again, and, and I think there was some tweet out of San Jose calling their rivalry with... With LA, the, the the best in MLS, you've been part of both of them. Is there any comparison on that one? Uh, you know, I, I think the rivalry between Portland and Seattle is just the deepest one because it, it transcends soccer, transcends uh, even the old days of North American Soccer League. You know, I don't think the Aztecs and the Earl Earthquakes had a really intense rivalry per se. I mean, I was around uh, in those days as well, but it's also the cities. Uh, you know, there's maybe more of a rivalry between San Francisco and L.A. than there is between San Jose and L.A. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think the city rivalry between the cities of Portland and Seattle runs pretty deep. And I think that just adds to it because it's more than it's more than just sports related. It's culturally related as well. And I think that makes it the deepest rivalry in the league. You know, maybe uh, Canada can argue for the Montreal Toronto uh, being somewhat as strong. It's all right, you know. We got in late last night. It's a long travel day, you know. When you figure it out, you're, you know, you're leaving the hotel and and you know at like what's equivalent to us being you know 7:38 in the morning here, and you're arriving at 8 8:30 at night. So it's a 12-hour travel day, you know. It's like uh, somebody got off the plane and said, "Oh God, God I'm glad I'm in Europe." Uh, you know, the only thing you didn't experience was the time change, but in terms of the hours of travel, it's very comparable. How was the pure takeoff and landing in Honduras? 
Uh, it was good. I was sitting on the right side of the plane. You don't want to be sitting on the left side of the plane. Uh, so the guys on the left had a little bit of an eye-opening experience. Uh, the guys on the right, we saw blue sky. <laughs> so it was good. On the left is a uh, little mountain and roads and houses and you're linking like, is there an airport there or are we landing in somebody's backyard? <laughs>